Glow Aquarius. We are going to do a love and separation reading today, all right? Don't forget to click that little like button. It bumps me up in the algorithm. If you would like to purchase a reading, everything you need to know is in the description box. Also, be sure and stop by my channel every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time here in the States for free card Friday. Free card pulls for an hour. Free, free, free. All right. <clears throat> All right. You guys know the drill. It's general. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Check your other placements, okay? All right. Let's do it. Love and separation for Aquarius. What is a going on? Love and separation. We have the Page of Cups. Okay. So coming into the current situation, the current energy, we have the Queen of Wands. All right. The challenge, blockage, or obstacle is the Three of Cups. The foundation of the reading is the Knight of Pentacles. The recent past in this connection is the Five of Swords. I'm just going to scoot these over. I don't know why I do this to myself. The crowning energy, woo, is the tower. There she blows, right? There she blows. All right, coming into the near future, we have the moon. Cancer Pisces energy there. Beautiful, beautiful. And I love that she's an octopus, too. She's got like octopus tentacles. All right. How do you see yourself right now, Aries? The Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, feeling a little trapped. All right. Energy that is external to you that you may or may not be aware of. The Three of Pentacles. And your best course of action. It also can come through sometimes as um, how your person feels with moving forward, right? With this connection. We have the Knight of Swords. Kind of depends sometimes on whether this is um, your read or your person's read, because it can be either one. The potential outcome, we have the King of Swords. Well, that's your air energy right there, along with this Knight of Swords. And we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. All right. So... We've got Scorpio here. We've got Cancer Pisces here. We've got every other, I mean, everybody's on deck. All four suits are on deck. So let's see what's going on. Why is this Queen of Wands the current energy right now, the current situation? Who is this? What's a going on? The Three of Pentacles. And we've got the Three of Pentacles over here. So you could be in the energy of that of that Queen of Wands, um, or they could. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, doesn't have to be. But this is somebody who wants to take action in regards to getting back together, in regards to collaborating with you, right? The Queen of Wands is, I see it, I want it, it's mine, right? That's what they, that's what they say. And the Knight of Pentacles. So either you or your person... Somebody here is getting bored with how long it's taking. That Queen of Wands can be impatient, right? And we've got the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody getting like really, really impatient with how long this is taking. So the Three of Cups as the obstacle, right? It's like, you know, when's this, when's this coming through already? All three of these ladies are like, so what's going on? Right. So what is this three of cups as the challenge? What's going on? The four of pentacles. Yeah, there. So I feel like um, you're becoming bored, impatient. Um, feel like you're just sitting around waiting for this person. And that's going against your, your grain or something. It's like you're just. You're just kind of like sitting around waiting. And, and I feel like you are impatient, but I feel like, and the sun. I was going to say, I feel like this person is truly your happiness, the person that you want to be with. So you will wait, right? But sometimes it's not healthy to just wait. You can hold a space for someone, right? You know, you don't have to move on completely and never talk to them again or never whatever. You can hold a space for somebody, but you're getting very impatient. 
And we've got this Knight of Pentacles again um, in the foundation. So this is just moving ever so slow. I mean, ever so slow. And here we have the star. So we have the sun and the star in the same reading. That's good juju. I like it. So it's taking this long for a, for a reason, okay? The Ace of Cups. So I think that once this person comes through, comes back around, um, it's going to really move forward very quickly and you're going to have a brand new beginning, right? It's, it's like a, a restart. I'm surprised the fool isn't here, but. All right, the recent past, we have the Five of Swords. That's pretty darn painful. This deck especially, it shows um, her this shadow and he's like stitched back together where she's ripped a chunk off of him. She's got that chunk off of him in her hand. All right, Five of Swords in the recent past. What is this? What's going on? Queen of Wands. Like you guys had a, had an argument that cut pretty deep for both of you. And I feel like that's kind of what happens when the two of you are together. You know, there's plenty of chemistry. There's plenty of, of emotions there. It's just very volatile. We do have the... I'm sure Phoebe is saving me from the postman. But it does seem like kind of a volatile situation. In the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like in this connection, it's either very, very passionate, volatile, and, you know, a lot of chemistry or nothing. So here we have this tower. I, and I feel like a lot of these, these Five of Swords moments were kind of like small tower moments. But... We do have the tower in the in the crowning energy. So something's getting ready to really just blow the F up. Yep, the nine of swords. Self-sabotage and nightmares. I think you both are going through this energy. I think you both are um, are really looking at how you view things. There's been some catastrophic event and it could be different for both people. But I think there's some mirroring going on here. And I think you guys are both going through that. And the devil. This could even be karmic energy. And, you know, also we've got the queen of wands twice. Sometimes that can be a karmic. Okay. There's a lot of hot and cold energy here. I can tell you that. Coming into the near future, we have the moon. Okay. Cancer Pisces energy. Why is the moon here in the future? And the Ten of Cups. So a couple of things. If, if this person is with a karmic, they're keeping you hidden. Okay. They're, they're keeping you hidden, which means that this Ten of Cups is really only pretend Ten of Cups, right? Because you can't have a real Ten of Cups if you're keeping something hidden. And the Hermit. They're starting to pull their energy back from this commitment or from this person, from this situation, whatever it is. But also, um, if there isn't a third party, if, if you're saying, well, they're not with anybody else. First of all, a lot of people say that. I've heard a lot of people say that, and it turns out they are. So never let anybody surprise you. I'm not saying be jaded and bitter, but just never let anybody surprise you. They have really, they're kind of going through this like, dark night of the soul in a way when it comes to their love connections, their love relationships, they're doing a lot of soul searching. And with that moon energy, they've really pulled back and they're staying out of view, like flying low, but they've also pulled their, their energy back from any, any other partnership or person. Right. So how do you see yourself right now? You have this eight of swords. So you know, you feel very stuck. You feel like, you know, this is never going to come to fruition. And you feel a little incomplete. But also, I feel like you're... What the hell is that dog doing? It sounds like she's bowling up there. 
Um, you're it also in a sense, it's like you're waiting for this person to come back around and rescue you. Which you should be able to rescue yourself. The three of cups. Yeah. It's like you are um hi Phoebes, were you bowling up there? Were you bowling? You need some ear medicine, got to ear itchies. What? You gonna come here and say hi? You gonna come here and say hi? Come on. Come here and say hi. Say hi. You say hi. Oh, you're so cool. It's my good girl. Yes, my good girl. All right. You go play. Anyway, so you're just not happy without this person. But I will tell you that that might be something that you need to work on because we have to figure out a way to be happy with ourselves before we can figure out a way to be happy with anybody else, right? We can't count on someone else to bring us happiness and joy, right? And the lovers. Yeah, I just feel like this is your person. You're mirroring each other's energy in a way, but you're also um, feeling very um, empty without this other person. So here we have this three of pentacles, which is what we saw in um, the very first energy, right? This person, you or them, whoever it is, you both want to rebuild a situation. Just a minute and I will get you some ear medicine. And the nine of wands, they, they have held a space for you too. See, there's like a space here. I feel like they've held a space. I feel like they are a little worse for wear. They've really been through it. But they're coming out of it. King of Wands energy. Now we're matching that fire energy, right? So how do they feel about moving forward with the connection? We have the Knight of Swords here. That's your that's your air energy, right? And the two of wands decide which way you want to go decide which direction you're going right it's like they're making decisions for their future but they're in pursuit of something or they're coming in hot what is this knight of swords two of wands the ten of swords so they may have just ended it in this karmic connection and they're planning for their future with you but i also think you guys have had some ten of swords moments yourselves right so the potential outcome, we have the King of Swords, right? That's your air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, right? And the world. Yeah, this person's closing out a cycle. Um, that's, you know, the reason you haven't heard from them is because they're with a karmic. And that situation, I feel like, is also very volatile. Very explosive. And the Two of Cups. That's when you get the Two of Cups. You know, it's, it's weird. We've got the King of Swords on the bottom of this deck too. It's weird because it's like, it's what I was saying all along. <laughs> Page of Cups. Yeah. They're planning on coming forward. They're planning on coming forward. They're planning, they, they're holding a space for you in their future. And with this justice card, um, they could be, you know, doing paperwork things, you know, getting out of, of rental agreements, lease agreements, that kind of thing. Um, and it could be a queen of pentacles that they're getting out of a situation with, but it doesn't have to be, but they're, I mean, that would be the person that they would be with long-term and here, but here comes this king of wands in pursuit of your queen of wands energy, even though you're not a fire sign, right? And the four of wands, but they can't do anything until there's the death of a commitment, the death of a relationship. All right, Aquarius, that's what I got for you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment if you want to join me for free card poll Friday right here every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, stateside. And I am sending you tons of love and light in the meantime.